Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. In my previous video about La Potato by Libre Computer, you know, I was kind of left with mixed feelings. I really wanted to be able to format and flash the eMMC. The La Potato has an add-on eMMC drive, which would, I think, greatly improve the performance of the La Potato. Here you can see, here's the La Potato, the AML 905C, and yeah, I got the eMMC module. Yeah, here it is, La Potato, with the eMMC module mounted there. And there's lots of these La Potatoes, and the price is right. Consider this is a Raspberry Pi replacement, and at 45 bucks for one of them, and I can even buy a four-pack. There's a coupon for $5 off. I follow Libre Computer on Twitter, and they have been recently announcing a lot of updated images, so that's very positive. Here's Ubuntu, and they just announced Raspberry Pi 11 Bullseye. And the folks at Libre Computer even stopped by to answer some questions on my YouTube videos. I appreciate the collaborative effort. Well, look at this. They have a new procedure for flashing the eMMC on the La Potato. So I want to format it and connect to it so that we can flash an image. That's what we're going to do in this video. Yeah, here's the new procedure. Libre Computer AML 905 eMMC flashing steps from Linux. And I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 here and it's running Raspberry Pi OS. Make sure to connect to the USB port on the top right next to the Ethernet port on the La Potato. There you see I've got the eMMC attached. You gotta press and hold down this boot button and hook up the USB cable. So when I tried this originally I didn't power the La Potato after connecting it pressing the U-boot button and you can see it results in an error. Now you drill down into the comment section and they show you that oh if you have an error you want to go ahead and you want to power it after connecting the USB after holding down the boot button. So here I am holding down the boot button, connecting USB, applying power. So let's go ahead and get the prerequisites here. We want to get the software installed. First we want to install Python 3-USB. So we need sudo apt install y python 3-usb. Alright, that's done. Now in one of my attempts, git was missing, so I went ahead and tried to install get. So I'm going to go sudo apt install minus y get. And there's not really any change there. Now we're going to use get to clone that pi AML boot from GitHub. Look for the links in the description down below. Okay, so we have all the requisite software installed. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the boot button plug in the USB in that top middle USB port and then I'm going to let that go and I'm going to go ahead and power the La Potato. This is going to let us flash and format the eMMC that's attached. In their article they list two commands that you can run against their Pi AML boot library. I run the second one first. Basically it mounts the drive and you can see here I'm going to get notifications that a USB drive has been mounted. That's very positive news. Oh look at that. Now I can open the eMMC in File Manager and I go ahead and click on OK 
and when I open it up it's full of all that Android image that's flashed onto the eMMC when you buy it from the factory. Yeah, there, yeah there's several partitions on that original eMMC image. So we're going to go back into the terminal and we'll run the format command. So we run the ls block command and you see that SDA device, that's my eMMC. We have access to it now. I'm going to run sudo fdisk minus l to list disks. Wow, look at that. Right here at the bottom is dev SDA, that's that 32 gig eMMC. This is pretty cool. So right now we're in a position where we could burn an image to the eMMC and boot off of it. Well that's great. Now we can flash any image we want to this eMMC on our La Potato. So go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you think of this new procedure. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.